What's up everybody and welcome back to the Honest Gamer channel where we are going to be playing another N64 game. Now, if this isn't your first time tuning into the series, you know that I kind of hate fighting games because I kind of suck at fighting games. However, Clay Fighter 63 and a third, I am excited as hell to play this thing. Um, I always like things that have like claymation style and that's how they decided to capture the motions for the fighters in this game. Um, and also, there's a couple of characters from other game series, and it happens to be two other game series that I'm a fan of. So, without further ado, let's play the one fighting game I'm probably going to really enjoy. <laughs> Welcome to the actual gameplay for Clay Fighter. Um, so, I just accidentally got a little bit of uh, practice in with this one because I didn't hit record when I started to play. Um, so, essentially, what I'm going to do, and this is going to apply for all fighting videos from now on, is I'll do like a match, maybe two, with each fighter. Um, depends on how many there are in the game. And then they will all guaranteed get streamed at some point. And that's when I'll, you know, try to get through whatever, you know, arcade mode, tower, whatever it is that is in the game. Um, That's the, uh, that's the official thing. Oh shit, this one's kicking my ass right now. I kinda wish I'd been recording, cause I actually won the first couple of rounds that I did. Oh. Fuck you, my friend. Jesus. No, back away, back away, back away. Oh. And there goes one. So what I had been saying when I was actually not recording um, was that I like how they went against the norm and used claymation to capture the motions for the fighters. I kind of mentioned that in the intro, um, but it's just really cool to see it actually because it, it doesn't look any different, so they did a really amazing job. Um, and then the other thing I was saying was that I really like how this game kind of makes fun of other games. Um, and what I mean is, part of it is kind of in the title itself with the, uh, the Play Fighter 63 and a third, and that was them making fun, um, of all the games that were using, you know, the 64 in their titles. Uh, cause, you know, you had Super Mario 64 and Star Fox 64, and so it was just kind of like poking fun at them a little bit. And then, um, you've noticed some of the combo lists, or not the lists, um, the little speech thing that comes up for the combos. Um, just back out since I lost. Um, sorry, trying to multitask right now, mentally at least. Um, it's kind of, it, it, it it's a little, eh, kind of similar-ish to, like, how they did it in, um, Killer Instinct. 
Um, but they kind of give you more amusing combo names in this one. Like, if you get, like, a three-hit combo, it's just an itty-bitty combo. Um, I think the max one is, like, a 16-hit. And it, uh, I think it's, like, the queen combo or something. Um, so it's just, it, it's... It's amusing to see them have fun with this game. Like, you, you can tell that they had fun making this game. There, there you go, you got the nine hit one, that's the cheesy combo. So it's just, it, like I said, it's amusing. And it shows that they had a little fun point making this game. in the intro to that a couple of the fighters are from other series um, that was one of them right there with uh, Earthworm Jim um, and then the other one I'm actually gonna try to see if I can use him next um, maybe not he might be one of the unlockable ones um, they have the, uh, the main character from the Boogerman game on Sega Genesis um, but no, as you can see, I have access to nine characters right now, um, with three more unlockable by either codes or beating the game. Um, oh shit, I have to back out and change again. I don't want to take Kung Pao again. My bad, that's what I get for trying to multitask and talk and actually display the like two things I know about this game. <sighs> My fault. That's kind of creepy and kind of cool. 
I love it. I really like this game, even though I suck at football. I literally stuck on the fence. Come on, I'm so close. Oh, damn. Over here, tough Damn. You lose. You lose. You lose. Game over. Alright, who's up next? Um got yeah. Might as well, so I've been facing the most, so I might as well try to use them. Lots of sugar. Lots of sugar. Really hoping I would absolutely figure that out. Clock you. Sugar rush. Quick. Dumbball. Back up. Back up. Quick. Back up. Sugar. Clock you. Back up. Quick. Oh, my guy. Clock you. Oh, that was a 
queen combo. <sighs> so close. No. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna win. It would happen like that, but I forget their capture. And I do really, really good. So close. Almost. Switch again. I guess I'm just gonna roll into the ones that I keep facing. Does that mean I'm gonna face. Nope. I get to face the snowman. Who's apparently the main character of the game. Nope. Can't skip it. Can't skip it. doing any of these combos, but No, I just gotta punch him once. Thank you. At least I got a fair health bar. Fucking hit, that's all I need. No! Come on! Oh. Alright, at least I got a victory recorded. Happy about that.
Next up, we got this one, Jim. Well, actually, I'm gonna say Pen. Give you the last one recorded. Because he's actually, like, most of the reason I got excited to play this game. Been a huge, huge Earthbound Jim fan. Let's get ready to crumble! Lousy combo helping get the win. Oh, so much shitty moves all you fucking want. I want to get the fucking special moves down. What the fuck? That was pretty cool. I think all I have left is to pop up top for Mr. Snowman and the little slime booger. Yep. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get the snowman in on this shit. Just wiping all the notifications on my phone, waiting for an important phone call. Important phone call. Let's get ready to crumble! Well, that didn't take long. There we go. Take it, I'll take it. Nice. No, oh, stop, 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 stop. Take this. 
happy with that. I don't think I even went through the first uh first health bar. In. Blue face in. Danger bunny. All right. Let's see how this goes. Let's get this over with. Fight. complain about this one is he doesn't have a very far reach. I don't even know how I'm doing the airplane thing. to squeeze in the fight as Earthworm Jim, um, and then we will wrap this one up. Um, so yeah, the uh, the fighting episode games are going to be a lot shorter than the rest of them, because um, like I said, I'm just going to do the one shot with each fighter, and then I'll stream on Twitch, you know, an actual attempt at playing the game itself. Um, just to see what kind of like happens with the difficulty and whatnot. Um, but the difficulty's actually been bouncing around. Um, like I've had a couple of rounds where I felt like I was really good and had you know kind of like not not necessarily a cakewalk, but like an easier time at facing the person. Um, and then there's been other times that it's just seemed incredibly difficult to even get a hit or two in. I don't even know how I did that. Oh, come on. Spam up. I swear to God, really? And it still fucking hit me. I thought I jumped it. And that's done. Wow, Nelly! Wow, Nelly! Wow, 
Let's see, at least let me get one health bar down. No. Stop spamming the same fucking move, piece of shit. for not talking too much, but this this is my mindset when I play fighting games. It's hard for me to multitask, as you saw. Um, so, we are going to toss this in front of the TV and talk about Play Fighter 63 and a third. I had a lot of fun with this game. Let's see what the book's got to say about this one. While I enjoyed this game, the book basically says that this one falls short of the Super Nintendo series, which there were two Play Fighter games previous to this one. Um, however, I never played the original two, so I can't really make that comparison. So, while this one says that this one kind of failed, or the other two shine through, um, I have to say that this one was actually a lot of fun. Um, I really, really enjoyed the claymation style of the animation. Um, I love the inclusion of, you know, you know Earthworm Jim. Um, I didn't get to play as him, but Boogerman's in here too. Um, so it's just, it's it's unique, especially considering other style of fighting games, and I like the humor from this one too. Um, but again, book says it falls short compared to the first two. I can't really offer an opinion on that one. So, I would say that this one in and of itself, definitely a lot of fun. Um, eventually down the road we will technically be revisiting this one because this is the game that got its re-release with a, uh, a newer version that was a rental through Blockbuster. But that's ways, ways ahead. Um, however, next time we're here, we're going to be going back to some more racing with Extreme G. Um, this is a fun, pretty sure it's an exclusive Nintendo racing series. Um, I actually, I have pretty much, I think, all three of them. I don't know if there's more. I haven't looked into it too much. But um, first two are on the N64 and the third one's on the GameCube and I had those three. Um, but going to be playing it for the first time next episode of the N64 Chronicles, so come back for that, and I will see you later. Come on, everybody.